Now, if you go to deviation, sh uh, show point view deviation curves and click on all points, we can see uh, all the different individual points and where the error is most apparent. So let's go to the most obvious one. For mine, yours can be totally different, but for mine, it is this one, surprisingly. And as you can see, it dips in quite a lot. Now, there's usually a one point that rules them all. Definitely one point that rules them all, and I think I found my culprit, actually. As you can see, the big spike here between these curves happens when this one starts. Where's this one at? This ground one starts. So, let's see if we can do something about this. So, on your numpad, uh, you on your numpad on the right, uh, there are some options here. Two nudges it down, eight nudges it up, four nudges it to the sides, and six nudges it to the uh, right. So uh, if you nudge it down, let's just nudge it down a few times to the down, by number two, and let's click on Alt-C again. All right, so the error rises. And if you click on Alt and right click, you can expand it. So let's go down even more. Alt, click and right. Bring it down again. All right, let's keep on doing this. All right. There's usually a sweet spot which rules them all. So if you look to the deviation browser and then I'm just repeating this again and again and again until I can get a nice fine point. Let's go to what really dips down. So this point that we've seen is pretty average, pretty low. So let's go to the other point. Okay, so let's go down a few times. Okay, let's go 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I don't think it's this one, to be honest, because it's not... It's changing all of them. There's usually a sweet spot, a sweet spot one. Let's check out this one. I think it's coming back to this one here. So, let's go to this point. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can move this quite up. Hmm. It's very hard trying to find that sweet spot. But I think this one definitely does. Let's see if we can go to this point, go to end point. Go here, remove key, remove key here. All right, let's see if that does anything. Okay, so it's definitely got rid of that point. So what we did is that we went back to the point where it really stuffed up. We clicked on end point, and then we clicked on remove key. Then it snaps back to the next end point. So which is the next one? So it usually happens when you start a new frame. So definitely be careful when that happens. All right, so now the overall um, error is now down to 0 0.27, no, uh, 1.77, which is a lot more um, a lot more better than 2.2, uh, I think it was. So now let's go to the next one. The next one goes all the way up to 3.38 and then dips all the way down. So there must be something. So must something must be happening from this point in here. So let's see what the deal is. Let's see if. Um, so let's see if we can bring this down a bit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That brings it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's definitely um, floating quite a bit. I can see that. I can see that. Uh, Sliding so here it's stable, but when it moves and when it is when it freaks out and we don't want that So let's see if we can change it by going down here and retracting it totally And we can change the shape as it changes that parallax 
Now, it could bring up a higher error, it could bring up a lower error, but I can definitely see that it was floating quite a lot. Alt C. Okay, it's definitely brought in some different changes. But it's definitely a lot better. Definitely a lot better, but it's brought up some different changes now. It's a combination of. Um, Combination of uh oh, I fixed that point now, so that's good. Oh, let's just get rid of that point in total. So it's now down to one point zero, which is a, a lot more better I guess, but we still want to try and bring it down. 